A world first project to artificially inseminate crocodiles has begun in central Queensland. It's hoped the work will benefit the lucrative crocodile skin industry and help conserve endangered species. One, two, One, two three. <laughs> At a saltwater crocodile farm in central Queensland, life's about to change for the breeding males. We sort of developed a technique for collecting the semen sample uh, and that was what we thought was going to be the most difficult part of the procedure. Zoologist Stephen Johnston describes it as tickling a crocodile. He's collecting samples to artificially inseminate about 40 females. If this works this year, we will change the nature of this farm. We will have rows of single females that will become just uh, breeding girls. We don't put them at risk by putting a male with them because we lose two or three every year. We'll simply inseminate them every year and uh, that's that. Those hatchlings would be destined for the leather trade. This basically is a skin production industry and a lot of the skins that go out are less than the desired quality in terms of scale pattern uh, and things like that. It's hoped the technique will produce croc skins of superior quality for the multi-million dollar industry and also help conserve crocodile species in the wild. Ten of those are in endangered or critically endangered, so there, there's a bit of trouble out there as far as the crocodile world is concerned. So we think this type of technology will have an application in captive breeding. The first eggs from this project could be laid in the next few months. Shani Kim, ABC News.